Okay, so let's have a look how everything is built. Uh, in the front we have two ultrasonic sensors. Uh, the one on the bottom here is pretty much just for emergency braking. The one on top is the one that goes back and forth as you saw in the, in the video earlier. Uh, it sits on a 9 gram uh, micro servo motor, uh, which I got from eBay for a couple of dollars. So uh, These are actually pretty cheap to buy on eBay. Um, here in the front we have two edge bridges sitting uh, beside each other. It is to give the DC motors the ability to go in, uh, go in reverse and also go at different speeds. So you, you will need uh, some kind of edge bridge. I think you can buy these ready made, but if you google 6 transistor edge bridge you will get the schematics and it's pretty easy to make yourself actually. Uh, back here we have the motors, these are geared uh, DC motors, they are rated at 300 RPMs at 12 volts and I definitely recommend you go uh, for geared DC motors. I don't think, if you just buy the motor without the gearbox, I don't think uh, they will have the torque to turn these wheels, so go for something like this I would recommend. 300 RPMs is actually uh, more than enough. Uh, the LiPo battery here is a 3 celled LiPo uh, It's a pretty small battery actually, it's only at uh, 610 milliamp hours But uh, this robot doesn't demand much power so it, it actually gives you decent run times Here in the middle we have uh, the brain of the whole robot, it's the Arduino Uno and if you're new to building stuff like this, I, I definitely recommend this, this microcontroller because it's very easy to learn and it's very easy to, to program. It's connected via USB. Uh, I decided to cut myself a pretty ugly hole, as you can see, uh, just to make it easy, easy to plug into the computer because you will probably want to upgrade the code and change things around uh, a lot of times. And what else? We have a, a small speaker which I found in a box somewhere and uh, I added that pretty much just for fun. doesn't have any practical use. Uh, on the other side we have some buttons. This is the power switch which turns everything on. Uh, and uh, this uh, potentiometer to the left here, it's to uh, start the, the robot at different modes. So if, if this is turned to the far left as it is now and if I, I flick the switch it will start in normal mode and it will start crawling around and looking around. But if I for example if I want to reprogram something and I want to connect it via USB here without it start crawling around on the desk uh, I will just turn this to the far right and it will actually start in programming mode. So even if I turn everything on it won't start uh, crawling around and uh, doing stuff like that. It will, it will just uh, make a sound and uh, go into a loop. So 
this is the only thing it will do. So I also recommend you have something like this. Otherwise, if you plug this in, uh, the Arduino will will uh, get power from the USB cable and everything will it will start crawling around on your desk, which is pretty bad. So uh, something like this. You can also have a switch to just control the the different modes.